Welcome to today's Pilates session. My name is Arlene and in today's session we're really going to focus on the core. Now while we are thinking about the core, I want you always to imagine that your whole core is wrapping nice and tight and then your ab muscles is always going to be engaged and activated. I'm going to highlight all the time through the class to keep those muscles engaged and activated so that you can make sure your posture is in the correct position and always to make sure that you are getting the best results through the exercises. You don't need any equipment. We're going to be working on the ground, mostly with our body down on the ground and our knees on the ground. So wherever you are positioned, just make sure you're comfortable and let's do this. Taking yourself to the side. We're going to slowly roll ourselves down and making yourself comfortable. Now your heels are in line with your hip bones and your feet are straight. We're going to just start with taking our hands up towards the ceiling and our palms are facing one another. From here, we're going to take the shoulders and draw them out of the socket towards the ceiling. And then from here, we pull it down into the ground as far as they can go. Exhale up towards the ceiling and then inhale in towards the ground. Doing a full motion, keeping it out of the elbows, keeping the arms straight and letting them work identically to one another. Always inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And I want you to imagine that you've got an orange underneath the chin to keep the spine in neutral. Let's bring the shoulders to neutral where it feels comfortable. And all we're going to do is now shrudge the shoulders up towards the ears and then down towards the feet. Up towards the ears and down towards the feet. And you can feel every time you're going down how the trapeze muscle is opening and lengthening up towards the side. Up and down. As you're pulling it down, follow through with a nice smooth exhale. Let's do two more over here. And one last one. Finding the neutral where it feels comfortable. We're just going to roll through to a shoulder bridge over here. Peeling the spine up vertebra for vertebra and then taking it down. Now I want you to imagine rolling from the pelvis up peeling all the way through towards the ceiling and then all the way down and exhale up still controlling the arms peeling the spine up with an exhale feeling the vertebrae peeling off one by one relaxing the toes and the next one I want you to hold up holding it there we're going back to the shoulders Taking it up towards the ceiling like we started and then pulling it down into the ground. Exhale up and inhale down and up. All the way down. Controlled movements. Letting those hands work together identically like a mirror. Exhale into the ground. One last one. Bring it to neutral and then shrudge it up towards the ears and then down towards the feet and up. Exhale down. Nice smooth long exhale, opening up the muscles. Two more. And one last one. Finding the neutral where it feels comfortable. From here, all I want you to do is roll from the top. You can feel the vertebra peeling down, down, down until you're in a neutral position. Taking your hands, we're going to rest them on the thighs. From here, tuck in your head, always imagining that you've got that orange right underneath the chin and you can see your knees at this point in time. We're going to roll up so we can touch the top of the knees and then roll it down. Try to keep the movement out of the neck but still a nice distance away from the chest. Exhale up and inhale down. All controlled, peeling the spine. Now every time you're going up, you're drawing your stomach in and tucking and swooping it up towards the ribcage. Now we 
careful for your ribcage flaring up to the side. Always connect the ribcage and the hip bones together, keeping it all tucked in, nice and strong and controlled. We've got four more. One last one. Let's hold it up here. Feeling the activation of the core, pulling in, sweeping up, tucking in the core. Four, three, two, and peel it down nice and slow, resting the head on the ground, placing the hands onto the hip bones. One leg comes up, and without moving those hip bones, absolutely control, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to lift up the next leg. No movement in the core, the shoulders, or the spine. So we've got the next leg up. We're going to take one leg and straighten it. The other leg is bent. Just taking a glance at your legs. Your ankle is either slightly higher to your knee or in line with your knee. The other foot wants to be toe-to-toe -to -toe in line with each other. Then you know Pilates rules. You're in the right line. If you want to make this more difficult, you can drop this leg. If you want to make it more easier, you can lift it up. Right in the middle is where we want to work from. We've got the toe pointed and we're just going to swap through. So here we've got the one leg swap. Still chin in the correct position. Imagine that orange underneath the chin. And we just got this movement working through the hip line. And as you lengthen through, you want to activate those muscles. Now, at this point in time, your core is wrapped. So you want your whole core stacked. You can feel your hip bones are nice and controlled. Your core is tucked in right underneath the rib cage, and your shoulders are absolutely controlled. Okay, so let's pick up this pace. We're making this a little bit quicker. Now you can hear my exhale is every time I'm swapping through. It's a short, quick exhale to help me with the move. Keep it going. We can feel the muscles are starting to warm up. They're activating. Now remember, this is going to be in the intermediate range. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can drop those legs. Always keeping your ankle in line with your knee. If you need to make this easier, bring your legs higher up and push it higher towards the ceiling. As long as you feel the impact, at the moment we can feel it through the hip flexor, we can also feel it in the core, and we're holding it there. So what we're going to do, for every two leg swaps, we're going to do a sit up, all the way, holding it for the two and then taking it down. Hands are going to come next to us, and we're going to go up and down, up and down, <sighs> inhale. Exhale, inhale. Now you can also just keep your shoulders down through this move if this is too difficult for you. Remember, this is going to be a core attack today. So we're working on the core. Four. Three. Two, push it through, one. Let's keep the shoulders up. You can feel the core is busy burning, it's warming up here. Taking the hands, we cradle the neck. So those legs are still going. So now with the cradling of the neck, be careful not to pull through the elbows, always keeping them open. And we're going to do twists through with the sitter. Now while we are twisting, avoid the elbow pulling yourself towards the knee. Let's rather aim for the shoulder to pull through towards the knee. When we are ready, we're going to go for four, three, two, and twist. So the shoulder is leading the move. Here you can feel your side obliques are starting to work. Keep it going. Almost there. Four. Keep 
keeping the tall core tucked in. Three, two, last four, three, two, pull it into the chest, just gently rock it through. Wow, you can feel the core is on fire right at the top, just tucking it in. We're going to allow ourselves to rock on up and we're going to sit with our legs folded, drawing our spine right up towards the ceiling, taking our hands and crossing it over the shoulders. I'll just change my angle so you can see. So we've got those hands, fingertips touching the shoulders, shoulders are drawing down, opening up to the sides. Core is tucked in, pulling up behind the rib cage, lengthening up towards the spine. So from here, we're going to allow ourselves to twist and bring ourselves back to the center. Now you want to keep your chin over the cross that you have created in front of you. The best way I can imagine it is that I've got hooks in my rib cage and my rib cage is what's busy turning. I want my rib cage to be turning around my spine and I want to be keeping my knees down on the ground. Two more. One last one. Back to the center. Taking yourself onto your knees. Fingertips nice and wide. Knees are shoulder width. Always tucking in the spine. Be careful for allowing the spine to move too much. Finding your neutral and then wrap it. The less movement you have, you know you have isolated your movement. So from here, you're just going to allow your leg to go out to the back. We're going to keep a flexed foot. The opposite hand is going to go out to the front. And we're just going to raise it. Now our hand is in line with our ear and our foot is in line with our bum. Flexing the foot. Now by flexing the foot, we are activating the core more. When we point the toe, we go into the bum. So let's flex it so we can keep it into the core. Now we're going to be doing controlled moves. Taking your hand, your thumb is pointing up towards the ceiling. And we're just going to take down, touch the floor and up towards the ceiling. Now we're absolutely controlled. We're keeping the movement out of the spine. So we want to be careful for when we look to sag up and to drop down. It's keeping it out of the spine. The spine is absolutely controlled. Making sure your shoulder is also still strong. You haven't allowed yourself to collapse. One last one. Let's hold it up. Good. Keeping that toe nice and flexed. Keeping it in the core. Let's take it out to the side. Hand and foot goes out and then returns back towards the ear. Your exhale will be as you're moving out and your inhale on the return. Now strong flex, keeping the core tucked in, avoiding any movement through those hip bones. So yeah, you can feel the core is really working. You've got the whole core activated. Two more. Last one. Bringing it down and just taking a quick breather. So staying down there, we're just going to do the other side. So as we come on, come on out, widen out those fingertips. So we're on the other leg, going out, keeping the foot flexed, opposite arm pointing out, thumb pointing out towards the ceiling, and then we're going to raise it up in line with the hip and in line with the ear. Keeping a nice strong flex when you're ready, controlling your move down and lifting it up. So remember, keeping the movement out of the spine. Don't allow the spine to collapse. Imagine pulling that core in and tucking it up or swooping it up behind the rib cage. Exhale on the lift, keeping that shoulder strong. Let's hold it up and we're going to start that outward movement to the side and return. Keeping the movement out of the core, control it. 
lengthening the spine two more last one complete it taking it down and just do a quick stretch through to release the spine from here we're going to come back out and we're going to go into the plank position so our plank position we've got our knees off the floor and what we're going to do is we're going to swoop our bum up towards the ceiling as though we're in a downward facing dog so pushing those heels down you can feel the stretch now you're going to allow your toes your heels to pull up towards the ceiling from your hips you're going to pull up towards the ceiling curling your spine all the way out until you come through to a plank position bum goes up pushing down the heels feel the stretch starting from the toes pull the toes up towards the ceiling followed by the heels the kneecaps into the hips the lower back the upper back through until your shoulders are in line with your wrists swooping it up again heels into the ground feel the stretch pushing your shoulders through towards your knees and then we begin the swoop pulling up all the way up 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 and you can really feel like you're doing a crunch through to the first position swoop it up and all the way through curling the spine controlling it let's do one more up heels into the ground then peeling the heels up through into the hips pulling it towards the ceiling over your wrists hold your position now if you need to make this position easier you can bend your knees in and hold that otherwise you're at your full plank position and all we're going to allow ourselves to do is let our knees touch the floor controlling our stance so if we are at the beginner position it's just smaller movements keep pushing through keeping that core tucked and wrapped no movement through those hips the more you can control the core the more it's going to activate we're almost there and we've got four three two and release it down and release the wrists giving them a nice roll from here we're going to allow our leg to come on out and we're in this position now this is beginner position your knee is resting on the floor if you want to advance it we take it up so i'm going to work from here you're going to put both your hands inside your leg the leg the hand that is closest to your foot is going to go up towards the ceiling and yeah we're just going to do a movement stretch the hand is going to come through touch the knee and then come on back touch through and come on back now this is going to also be working the shoulder we really want the shoulder to be rotating while our move is controlled reaching as far as you can I'll demonstrate at the beginner position if you wish twisting through trying to always reach for that knee so exactly the same just with the leg resting on the floor two more one last one all the way up hold that position so from here we're going to open up to the side so we can start working on the side obliques I'm going to show from position or beginner position again knees rested on the floor you're going to take your front leg and swoop it to the side allowing your back foot to point towards the back so this would be your pos beginner position if you want to advance it off with the knee you're just going to allow your foot to turn flat on the side and your top leg comes over to the top now if you want to make it more difficult you can work over the top otherwise point your foot to the side hand resting on the hip we're just going to pulse up towards the ceiling keep going if you're in the beginner position you're basically doing 
your hip thrusts up towards the ceiling. Keep it going. We've got four, three, control your shoulders, two, and allowing the bottom leg to come in under. We're going to allow the top leg to come next to it, and we are upright. Take yourself right over to the other side. Fingertips are going to touch the floor. Toe is going to touch the floor. Hand up towards the ceiling. From here, we reach, fingertips. Reach, fingertips. Now always try and keep your spine in neutral. going also feel the shoulders are working out last four let's do this quicker four three two one allow your hand to place down on the floor reaching your hand right over and we're going to now let the knee come through towards your nose over and out over and out really open up reaching in the opposite directions Almost there, keep it going. Big movements. Four more. Four. Control your move. Last one. Take it out. Rest your toe onto the floor again. Fingertip here, and we're going to do reaching to the sky. Quick pace. Control your move. Lengthen your spine out through the top of your head. Four, three, two, and relax. You can feel the shoulder at the top was working quite hard. Give it a nice roll. So from here, this top leg is going to come all the way through. So you should be on your other leg now. So. First, we're going to do the movement, hands on the inside. The moment I'm in the beginner position, my back leg is resting on the floor. Taking my hand closest to my foot, reaching it on up, and then we start the move movement. Through touching the knee, and all the way up, and through. Keeping the arms straight as I sweep through. Lifting up the knee if you want to make it a greater stretch. Two more. Last one. Holding it up there. So now you can choose. Beginner, rest the knee down and turn. If you want to advance that, keeping the leg up. First turn, the other foot is flat on the floor. And then the other foot points to the front. So from here, hand on the hip. We pulse up to the ceiling. Keeping your shoulders strong. And release it. Taking the bottom leg onto the ground. Other leg is going to join it all the way over. Resting the fingertips on the ground and the toe. From here, nice big stretches up. Keeping the spine straight, tucking in the core. Now what you do want to be careful of is that your rib cage is flaring. Always keeping it tucked in. Imagine bottom of the ribs going towards the hips. Four more. Last four quick. Last one, taking it down, resting your hand down, reaching over, and now we're going to crunch it in. Remember, not letting the ribcage flare, always tucking in the core.
nice big moves. Two more, last one. Resting it down, back to your fingertips. And we go double time. Remember that rib cage, keeping it tucked in. Four, three, two, and relax. Good job. Roll the shoulder, release it, and we're taking ourselves onto our bum. From here, slowly taking yourself down. And we've got the legs in, straightening up towards the ceiling. Holding it there. Now we're not pulling on the legs. We don't want to have our body holding itself up. We want to use the core strength to just keep our legs up. Your ankles are over your hips. And we're holding it there. Hold it almost there. Four. Three. Two. Keeping the leg straight, we're just going to take our hand and we kind of cup over the calves. Now, if you can't reach the calves, take yourself through to the back of the leg and you're going to cup yourself over there. Careful for interlinking. We always want to work cupped softly over the muscles. The other leg is just going to drop down. As we drop, we're going to allow the core to come on up. And we're going to do scissor switches. Now, keeping the shoulders up is going to activate the core more. You can also make this easier by keeping the shoulders down. Four. Three. We're going to go straight into hundreds after this. And last one, get those legs up to the top, keeping the shoulders up. Hands are going to come down next to us. Now, if you wish, you can keep your legs up here, or we're going to pulse a hundred times. Otherwise, you can drop it down. They can find out where you want to work, where you're activating the core. And we pulse, inhale. X, in. X, in. X, in. X, in. X, halfway, keep going. X, in. X. In, X, in, almost there, we've got the last in, X, and bring the legs into the chest. You should feel that your core is on fire, you can feel that your temperature is nice and high, maybe even building up a sweat, just keeping your legs in here, we're just going to stretch it out. Deep breaths. Keeping a nice, close, close circle, holding it there. So, keeping your one leg nice and close to the chest, we're going to take the other leg up and then lower it down to the ground. And we're holding this position. We're busy stretching out the hip flexor. So we want to try and relax the leg onto the floor. If you're feeling it straining, you can allow that bottom leg to bend. We want to keep this knee as close to the shoulder as possible. Holding it there. Taking that straight leg, we pull it all the way back, swapping it through, and then the leg first starts up off straight towards the ceiling and then slowly taking it down, holding your position. Remember if that leg is straining, if it can't go all the way down, just allow it to bend so that your leg can relax in the position. Hold it. Allowing the legs to come on up, we're going to take one leg and cross it over the other leg. So from here, our hand is going to go through the circle, the other hand is going to wrap around the leg, and then we're going to pull the leg in towards us. Now we are focusing on stretching 
the major muscle over the bum. So as we're pulling the leg in towards us, you should start feeling that stretch. If you want to increase the stretch, to push the knee further away is going to increase it. You can either keep or push with your elbow, otherwise you can take it off and push it with your hand, whichever one is more comfortable for you. And we hold, really feeling that stretch over the bum. And we hold it there. Four. And let's swap it around, taking the leg off, other leg is going to cross, hand goes in through the circle, other hand around, pulling it in. If you need more of a stretch, push that knee up to the side, either using the elbow or you can use your hand. Hold it there. Always remember, we want to stretch after a workout. We also want to hold our stretches. And this is just going to help keep our muscles in its lengthened, correct position. We don't want to stretch them out. We start lessening our range of motion. And we don't want to be doing this over the years as we get older. Hold it there. Carefully take that foot off. Putting the legs into the chest, we're going to rock ourselves up to the top. And we're going to turn ourselves to the front. So from here, bottom leg is nice and bent. Other leg, we're going to just cradle. Placing it foot and the knee in between the elbows. And we're just going to rock. This is going to help loosening up the hips. And we're just rocking it nice and gently. So while we're rocking, we still got the spine lengthened up towards the ceiling. And we're still tucking in the core. And we're just holding it there. So you can also feel the stretch, the same stretch of the gluteus max over the bum, as he's stretching out. Hold it there. Let's change it to the other leg. Really wanting to cradle it, holding it there in the elbows, interlink your fingers if that helps, and then start your swaying or rocking motion. Working into the hips, stretching out the muscle around the bum. Keep it going. Lengthening the spine up towards the ceiling and lastly, tucking in the core. Hold it. Now when we've got a strong core, it protects the body, it also protects the spine. So this helps when we need to react over while we're falling or our body just needs to react. Stomach muscles are different to the core Stomach muscles is what we use in order to get ourselves out of bed every day. The core wraps right around into the back, the lower muscles of the, of the spine and also into the pelvic floor. Finish off your rocks and let's just stretch out the hips. Placing one foot over the other, getting the knees in a nice straight line and we're just going to hold it there. Now if you do want to increase this, you can fold forward with a straight spine we're just going to hold it. And this is just taking a stretch to loosen up the hips. And we're holding it there. Let's swap that around. Knees right over each other. Keeping the spine up. Lengthen towards the ceiling. And then straight body, you can fold forward. You can stay up as well. Just holding it there. So at the moment, the leg that's over the top will feel it much more into the hip. Slowly bring it up. We're going to just fold our legs in. Elbow carefully onto the ground. We're stretching over for the bleaks that we worked. Holding it there. And we swap it over to the other side. Carefully onto the elbow, reaching it over. Keeping your bum grounded. Keeping the knees down as far as they can. Hold it there. And then gently bringing it back. Resting the hands over the knees. We're rolling the shoulders backwards. Lengthening the spine up towards the ceiling. Let's change direction. Nice and big. Complete your circle, taking your head over to the one side and to the other side. Keeping the shoulders pulling down towards the ground, opening it up. To the center, let's take it down, tucking in the stomach 
stacking up towards the ceiling. Back to the center, deep breath in, filling up the lungs and out. Right in. And out. And one last deep breath in, in. And out. Allowing the hands to rest over the kneecaps. Well done. I hope you really felt it in the core. I hope the core was on fire. And thank you for joining me in this session. If you have not subscribed as yet, please do so now as I'm uploading weekly videos. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you at the next one.